And we are back. Oh, to ride public transportation. The best kind of transportation. You know it. Welcome to my beautiful city. Mayor Fiblian. Whip Wibblefin. Welcome to my beautiful city. Fun facts. See the Alligator New York City Opera. The Alligator Opera presents Alligator Pangliacci. A boom and bug economy. Free hot dogs on Fridays. All right. Alligator Memorial Ooh, Park. We got different parts. Unsavory part oh, of town. Oh, the fun, fun district. district. Where do we want to go, anyways? F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. Or are we already in the fun district? I think we're in the fun district. This is not a great fun district. Oh, uh, we can go downtown. <laughs> oh, oh, God. That eye. The eye on the yeah. other side of the snoot. Oh, hey. Hello. It's a, it's a butterfly computer. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Friends, you need to put shoes on. We're on public transport. Yeah, come on. Then again, Very adult bar. They're, they're already wearing leather shoes. They're good. <laughs> yeah, no, I mm, checks out. Hey, kid. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Get your friendly city guide here. So I was wondering, have you been finding any puzzle pieces around? I have. I thought so. I'm sorry. I has. <laughs> you can you can find lots of things, fun things you might not be expecting in the city by clicking around. Puzzle pieces, secret baubles to look at, interesting shapes, sewer rats, with pizza on the mind. It's a real menagerie. Maybe everyone in New York talks like this. Trust me. If you're from out of state, so am I. I'm an expert, though. <laughs> I've been there once. <laughs> I've been there once. I'm an expert. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you find enough pieces, you'll be able to do something good with them. I know two people that live in New York. <laughs> Shout out! I have New York friends. I have two New York friends. I'm allowed to say it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Maybe you can find something good to do with them. Like shove them up your ass. <laughs> Maybe I just impersonate those two people, even though they don't mm. sound like your typical New Yorkers. Much like we don't sound like our typical Cali's. So for Californians. Yeah, we don't know like what's oh. going on, bro. Like unlock something or make a small blanket for a family of chili squirrels or something. The world is bright, so have lots of fun looking around. It's so bright, it's in shades of black and white. I want to go onto a rooftop bar. I bet they don't have any of those in New York. Hey man, you got any change or any novelty dye dye apparel? Uh, actually, Pat does. See wow. anyway. Star child, I can feel your energy from here. I was thinking about the, uh, I was thinking about the never ending story. <laughs> Moon child! I know, I've never seen never ending story, and after it's when horrible. You, it's you horrible. and Jen watched it's it, it's good. Spit, I could hear both of you just lamenting that movie for she like loves two the hours. Book. Yeah. She's not too. She she enjoys the movie. Yeah. But she's like, yeah, it's not good. It's not. <laughs> Even the writer of the book is like, I fucking hate that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Falcor. <laughs> I'd say it's what harshing my whole thing right here. But the truth is, uh, I free cycled some real gnarly bagels for lunch today. But uh, the dumpster behind me, behind the furniture store, you know. My mellow. It turns out those weren't bagels. They were fucking like furniture leg cushion <laughs> things to stop it from scratching up your floors. I was gonna say, what? <laughs> what if they're like the seats for when you have a hernia? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my little bagel. <laughs> Let me just throw this in the uh, dumpster next to Aiden. How's it going, Aiden? My mellow has been uh, thoroughly rehashed. Oh no. Huh? <sighs> Why would I? Why? Why would there be bagels in a dumpster of a furniture store? Oh boy! It, oh, I think I was on track. Pillows, bummer. <laughs> Those are huge. Listen, <laughs> these are the biggest bagels I've ever seen. <laughs> listen, wow, man. Hey, here, listen. Who amongst us who has <laughs> ever woken up at noon under a van, under a blanket, and under a felted equally? From linted stranger with candy wrappers. I know that sentence made no sense, but an underbuzzed. You know, it's no wonder I, I got into the wrong dumpster. You know, if anything, man, it's fate. Mm. Do you know Pat? <laughs> Pat's inside all of us, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, did you say Pat? He's a pretty rad dude. Kind of dresses like a preschooler, though. <laughs> If I'm being real z with, with the pirate baseball cap and the what would he have? A scarf? Yeah. Like around or not a scarf, but like a uh, handkerchief? Like a handkerchief around his neck, yeah. I was like, Ascot? No, that's not it. Uh, that's Fred Jones. Yeah. And my little sister Lizzie is dating his cousin. So I guess you could say we're kind of like family. Lizzie is dating his cousin. I'm you, trying to remember that. You could say anything to strangers, really. No one could stop you, man. It's a free country, man. Fight the law, man. <laughs> ACAB. I'm Aiden. It's <laughs> totally chill to meet you. Dot com dot org. 201213. What does that even mean? I sorta of knew someone would seek me out the day. I'm like a bit of a clairvoyant, according to some sub forms I visit online. <laughs> Plus, I own a somewhat unsettling amount of powerful crystals, man. The powerful energies cores through me like my, the, my inner core. Heidelins in the back, like, help me, please! Is there Zodiac around here? <laughs> Which is great since I spent the last of my Dosh? Douche? Dosh. <laughs> Dosh. On some suspiciously expensive crystals. It's money, man. The moolah. And my inner core is super starving, man. Eh, tonight? No, dude, I'm sorry. I really can't tell you much. I've been sworn to secrecy. What if we got you some of that good cash? I could actually, like, uh, probably tell you a few things if you, uh, do me a solid. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no I know uh, what happens when you do people solids. Then you gotta do them a solid. If you don't do them a solid, it rips up space whole time continuum. We've it's seen real this bad. before. I met this raccoon once and this blue jay, and they I don't do solids no more. That's all I gotta say. Not allowed. You see, there's some, uh, suspiciously expensive crystals I mentioned earlier. Well, those um, little mamas uh, were also suspiciously powerful. From three nights of holding them, even when I had to get up and go pee, I feel mystically charged, though that's just uh, my innermost self. Sir, these are, yep. <laughs> nope, nope, they're registering at the Geiger counter. Yeah. Sir, you are radioactive. Dude, you might be having cocaine right now. It's, cocaine crystals. It's cocaine. That, 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 um, Radioactive cocaine. <laughs> I told you not to buy from Heisenberg anymore. It's not allowed. <laughs> He's not a good guy. <laughs> Is this cesium cocaine? Oh, fuck. <laughs> My dial is questing through the crystals. Concentration arts. I just uh, don't have time to uh, shower or dust my pewter miniatures. Mm. Besides, man, bathing is a way for a man to keep us down. Well, that radioactive cesium really uh, deviates the septum, if you know what I'm saying. You should uh, be sliding across on the floor on an oil slick of your own creation like nature intended. Just like this thing that empties my bowels. Don't tell us that. Close to me back. <laughs> my aromatic scent keeps uh, away a lot of unwanted company. I love like solicitors and my father. <laughs> father. But I invited others. Talking about the flies, man. The buzzing and buzz kills keep harshing my mellow. They're making it impossible for me to concentrate my inner light and do my inner right. If you know what I'm saying. So we gotta spot some flies, like a Mario Paint style, or like Mickey and the Little Taylor. If you could just swat them away from me while I'm getting my meditation on, I'd be so happy to do you a solid in return, man. <laughs> I thought he said medication. I was like, yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> puff, puff, pass. <laughs> Get old Snoop Snoot in here. We need him around. So we can be my spotter swatter. We can do that. Sure. Meditation infestation. Oh, Slap a no. fly from an icky guy. They're going to take these and make dinosaurs out of them. I've seen that movie before. <laughs> I've been to Arizona. They put bugs inside of candy. I've seen that before. Click on flies and hornets to attack them with the fly swatter. Hornets take extra hits. Careful. Don't swap butterflies or Aiden. Oh, now I want to. You shouldn't have told me that. I totally want to. <laughs> Aiden's not into BDSM. <laughs> I did. How do I do have friends? Round one. Fight! Yeah. Ha! Ha! <laughs> it ha, is ha. straight up Mario fucking paint! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Oh my god! Ha 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 ha! Good luck finding a. Don't hit the butterfly. Ha, 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 ha. Good luck hitting a. Getting a, a mouse for Mario paint nowadays. Uh, 
This is just like when you have to swat a fly at home. Just you almost never hit him. You think you'd be? Able, I think you would be able to make a custom at home SNES controller Mario Paint mouse. Oh, I'm sure. It's happening. The sub forms were right. I have to keep going. He's gonna find his inner self. <laughs> Wait, what? What are you getting? Oh, they're hitting him. You gotta stop him from hitting him. That's what's happening. Oh, they're stinging him. No, wasp! Stop Don't. it! No! Stop! Why is this so Go hard? Away! This one to his right. There's a little. There was a little fly to his right. <laughs> I was gonna say, if none of you have played Mario. Nice. Oh, fuck, he's transcending. I'm starting to feel the cosmos, man, picking up the Wi Fi. Or Keep ascending. it going, I'm almost there. He's got a Phillips Hue bulb in his ass. No, dude. Oh, no, my, God. my God. No! 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 I don't know, man. I don't know if you're gonna win this one. No! Be careful, just be careful. Ah! Oh. What the heck? <laughs> oh. I'll, I'll pass? Oops. What? You fucking killed him! <laughs> <laughs> Literally a monument to his own hubris. Aiden sits before you as a still as a statue. Because he is one of those now, apparently. <laughs> you reflect on how the crystal, uh... Are nothing to be trifled with. They may have been radioactive, as well as... How oh, they're really cool. What is this a fucking? Oh my god! What is? Well, this is a, a fucking R.L. Stein book, a choose your own adventure type of thing. As you inspect Aiden's soapstone exterior, you'd note that there's still a lingering smell of a uh, booty cooch cushions. Whoa, 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 whoa! Booty cooch. Man, remember, friends, <laughs> wipe from front to back, not back to front. You don't want booty cooch. Patchouli. I don't know what that word is. Patchouli. Patchouli. Yeah, perhaps he's still in there after all. Smack him? Maybe we can maybe we can free him out? <laughs> Did you fucking kill Aiden? No. <laughs> hey buddy, you good old guy to you. I just wanted to warn you, in a city so big there are bound to be parts of town that are a little seedy. I'm talking seedy tough guys, seedy tough guys who eat the seeds and things without spitting them out into a napkin, polite like. So just be careful. Don't go clicking around in back alleys or anything. You never know what you might find. But I like clicking in back alleys. <laughs> back alley. Clicking and licking. Am I right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Girls, girls, girls. Well, if you say so. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's an empowerment thing. <sighs> I, I don't know how to pronounse that. I'm gonna call her Wu. Ch Chen Xiong Wu. Wu? Was born in 1912 in the Jiangsu province of China. Jiangsu? Her parents, Yangsu, maybe. Mm. Yangsu? I, fucking excuse me, I'm a white guy. <laughs> Brown hair. I'm every fucking antagonist, I'm every protagonist from every video game between 2000 and 2000, well, no, still today. Fuck. Mm, wrong. <laughs> Her parents were politically progressive. They encouraged her to attend college, and she, when she fell in love with physics, they helped her immigrate to Berkeley, California. Hey, I know that place. In 1936, to pursue her PhD, Chiang Chong would go on to become one of the biggest contributors to modern nuclear physics. <gasps> How do we keep guessing these things? I don't know. <laughs> but because of wars and conflicts in East Asia, she would never see her parents again. I do have an animator brain, so maybe that's why. No, we're all on the same wavelength, man. Man, we just vibe everything. Yeah. Despite her impressive academic credentials, uh, she struggled to- I'm gonna stop trying to butcher it. Yeah. <laughs> struggled to find a job that would allow her to do research until 1944, when she joined the Manhattan Project Substitute Alloy Material Laboratories. Uh, Manhattan Project had to deal with nuclear stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. She was one of the only Chinese people to be able to- use, and one of the only women among all the senior researchers on the team. We're getting a little bit of history in here. Mm. After the end of World War II, she became the world leader in the field of beta decay. This type of radioactive decay had been a physics theory, but she demonstrated that certain particle decay in specific directions. This writer isn't 100% sure what that means. And neither is the guy who's narrating it. I'm not sure either. I'm but the co-pilot. <laughs> but on a larger level, it helped physicists create an operational left and right, which seems pretty important. I think so. For her contributions to nuclear research, Dr. Wu is known as the First Lady of Physics. That's neat. I, wonder I if... was not aware. That's cool. Well, that's a real-world fact. I mean, 
a lot of that seemed like real world things. Seems legit. I mean, they could definitely make someone up or have the year wrong, but the Manhattan Project, 1944, yeah, round World War II, out. nuclear stuff, physics, like, hey, I'm no expert, but I'm willing to, I'm willing to believe that that's, you know, lines up. You want to be Katie? Sure. Dr. Will proved a theory of physics that reshaped how we think of subatomic particles. That's so awesome! She regretted that her Manhattan Project research were deployed in the two bombs the U.S. used to attack Hiroshima and Nagasaki during the World War II. During World War II. Mm-hmm. She Hiroshima. was hopeful that this would be the only use of nuclear weapons, saying, Do you think that people are so stupid and self-destructive? No. I have confidence in humankind. I believe one day... I believe we will one day live together peacefully. Uh, hey, I'm hoping on. she's right. I'm, I'm hoping she's right. right. I'm hoping she's right too. <laughs> oh, jeez. What do I know? I don't know particle nuclear physics and directions Ooh, and stuff clock. like that. No, it's a puzzle piece, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> well, girls, then. girls, girls. Please sign for a guest book. They got cookies? I want cookies. Oh, it's like a. Uh, Shine here for our mailings. No, no, no. That's how I get all the spam. Is they this keep... one? Is this a peanut butter cookie? We should bring this back to Pat. I want peanut butter cookies. <laughs> Minna. Excuse me. I'm clearly taking, uh, trying to take notes on the material, so shoo. But oh, I want damn, notes. we're in here fucking up this meeting. Cassandra, every <laughs> beat of my heart, I long for you. Douglas withered, his flippers padding across the ballroom to meet her. His lavender arms sparkled with unspoken love for a totally slamming bod and personality. Are his orbs his eyes or? <laughs> Ew! It's getting saucy up in here! Oh god, Teddy! I've attended advocacy talks all up and down the East Coast, but this one, by far, has been the best lemon square and brownie selection I Fuck ever did see. yes. Lemon square and brownies? Oh god, Together, I Together you get, you get like the tartness and then the bitter and oh, it's so good. Huh. And I'm in the wrong room. This is definitely not a supportive group for people who have grown too emotionally attached to vloggers. Oh. oh parasocial what, what relationship. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, parasocial? I was like, what is that called? Uh, <laughs> Jamie. Hey, Emily. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna go get sushi burritos after this? I know we're trying to save money, but I hear the siren song of the sushrito calling me. You had me a hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know beloved movie franchise Space Fight, Episode 7, Return of the Guy, copyright? Remember when Banana Gam Cloud Pincher is revealed to be the guy? I just feel like the people really misunderstood his character. I wonder if there are any on this What is thing. this, the AV room? I don't know. So we did some space murders, so we punched a baby, so I had to turn into a diamond. Can we unpunch a diamond into a baby then? Uh, why would you ever want to? Well, maybe if we take that form of logic, we can make the dude not be stoned anymore. <laughs> oh, no, he's made of soapstone. <laughs> That'll take a light slap. If people would only seek out the extended cut, they'd see there's so much more to him. <laughs> mm, I watched the deep cut. I think you're you're reaching a little bit. A real space fight fan reads the 15, 45 companion novels, played the uh, ARG. That's an alternate reality game. I actually know that one. And collected enough box tops to send away for the compendium. Ooh, box tops. <laughs> I want to see if any of them are going to give us anything. Do you know how much cereal I ate for that? I'm banned from the Brodega now. You're banned from the Brodega? Oh, shit. Well, also because I keep paying for apples and all oh, pennies. All right. I don't think we're going to find anything about the <laughs> I love oh. the books. Wow. Wee. <laughs> oh, maybe we should talk to Katie. <coughs> <coughs> oh, someone new. Have a seat. We're about to get started. Oh, no. We're... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Find the exit. Oh, shit. No, where's it's, the exit? It's, Somebody it's, get me out. It's the button. <laughs> it's the arrow button. <laughs> They were right. There were girls, girls, girls there. We're not gonna check the, check the trash can? Oh yeah, we should check the trash can. I don't know if it was gonna light up or not, but... <sighs> Hello? Hello? I Hello? Guess, I guess not. Maybe they indicate it based off of colors, but yeah. I like that there's two loading screens. There's the loading icon in the top, and then there's the loading thing at the bottom. I don't think we can save our boy Aiden. <laughs> Slasher. What's we got? Hey, what are you looking at? 
Are you trying to listen to our exceedingly private rooftop conversation? See, I told you our friend lived here. Mm. <laughs> nice, Eric. <laughs> Be a creep. Mm. We're not even talking about nothing interesting. Move along. Shuffle along. Definitely nothing interesting. Just extremely boring things. You wouldn't, uh, care about it. Yes, in fact, we're not even talking. We're just sitting up here. In silence. Mm. Enjoying our drinks. You know how it goes. Some mouths are only moving to aerate our gums. Yes, we take care of a lot about our oral hygiene. Unlike that slick Mickey over there, he's got a real bad case of halitosis. They should yeah, really do something about that it. That guy needs some pillow mints. Best thing we're talking about, so buzz off. We're up here aerating, filter feeding, you know? We're definitely not talking about the juicy details of Slasher here's hilarious disaster love life. So beat it. Yeah! Hey. <laughs> He's a good guy. He's just not so good at the romance thing, you see? Eric. I'm nice, Eric. Eric's my brother. First date at a sporting goods store. I need sneakers. And <laughs> she snuck all out, didn't she? And he was running half an hour late. That keeps them, you know, because they didn't have some sneakers. Still, she had, you know, keep time. <laughs> she ate his phone in front of him, so, uh... She was sure you didn't have a number. <sighs> What's your number? <laughs> Six. Who's got the light? Raul. 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 Hey, go. you've got the light? Not, uh, no? Not for one of my cigarettes, I mean. I meant the general. <laughs> Why does he kind of remind me of, uh, the camel? The smoking camel from Mulgrew. <laughs> he Mulgro. does. <laughs> like, it, that's what, like, his lips look like, right? The two little ball, it does. like, bloop. I also wonder if this is on purpose, this little blue shade right here, or somebody forgot. Because <laughs> I would totally forget that when I'm animating and be like, oh no. The blue shade in the back is actually the, uh, the, uh, Cool Eric. Ah. It's Cool Eric's outfit. Look at his hat matches his shirt. There we go. Yeah. It's kind of dark out here. He is, uh, I got spooky energy. You ain't seen any, right? Spooky ghost allergy? He's, a, he's allergic to ghosts. Raul, if you want to get into the bar pub, you're going to have to cough up in their D. So, anything. Coughing up in general is really, generally an adult thing. Uh, getting older is a glamorous. I'm going to go in because I'm a man. Mm. I'm an adult. I can do adult-like things. I have a sinus infection. I've been coughing up stuff for weeks. How about we talk to Bobby Blue Eyes next time? Yeah, sure. We'll see you guys later. Beep, bop, boop. Bobby Blue Eyes doesn't exactly... I wouldn't register that as blue. Yeah, I won't register that. But I mean, that. I...